Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another advent unboxing for you. Today we're going to be obviously unboxing the Ciate London Mini Manny Month for 2022. And I will be opening every single box in this advent calendar. So if at this point you haven't opened yours and you want to be surprised, I would say just cut out of this video because I'm going to show you the polishes as well as swatch photos. So if you don't want any spoilers, which for this one, I don't think anybody cares, uh, but exit out of the video now because I don't want to spoil anybody's fun. Now, I promised myself that I would not get this one again because it's the past two years. It's just not been that great. It's been okay, but something came over me. I don't know. I bought it. This is another one of those calendars that just shows you every single thing inside of it. And it's pretty tough to avoid spoilers. On Instagram, I keep getting this promoted to me and it shows every single thing in the box. And I'm not going to flip this over, but on the back, it shows like swatch, like little drop swatches of every single polish that is in here. So like, that's annoying. I think it's great to show what you're getting for those who are really cautious buyers, but at least make it obvious where those visuals are going to be so that those who don't want to be spoiled can avoid them, you know? So real quick before I crack into this guy, um, the pre-sale for this went up in October. It cost $69. I did use a coupon. I don't remember where I got it, but mine was a little bit less. And the contents, it says... Right here at the bottom, there are 23 mini plant pot nail polishes and one full size polish. The last two years I got this, they also included, instead of 23 mini plant pots, you got 22, and then they included some kind of makeup item from the Ciate line. Like one year it was like a lip gloss, and then the next year it was a primer. This year it is all nail polish. For that, I am grateful. I don't really have anything against Ciate. It's just like, I didn't want that those makeup items. I, weirdly enough, with, with nail polish, I'll take anything I can get. I love nail polish with a passion. And I love makeup too, but I'm a little bit more picky because I just won't wear everything. So I just didn't want those makeup items. For this particular calendar, it breaks down to $2.86 an item. The minis are five milliliters, I believe, compared to their full size, which is 14 milliliters. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So as you can see, this moves around. They had this last year as well. You can take this out and display it. It's like a piece of art. It's cute. I like it. I will probably put it on the shelves behind me at some point. And for those of you who aren't familiar, the plant pot formula, it says it's up to 80% naturally derived ingredients with nail carrying bamboo. Uh, it has biotin in it and bacuchiol. I don't know. That's what... Bacuchiol. That's what my phone says. So um, I don't really know. I know it's like a skincare ingredient a lot of times, but I don't I don't care. It's my nails. So let's get cracking. So as you guys can see, the glue is kind of like failing on mine here. That doesn't really matter, but um, just not like super well put together totally. I zoomed you guys out so you can see the whole calendar at once. Nope, I didn't. So I zoomed you guys out so you can see the whole calendar at once. Um, this is my least favorite thing ever is when an advent calendar does not go in sequential order. You have to like find where your next number is. So I'll probably complain about that a lot as we go, but let's just go door by door. I'll crack these open. And then afterwards I'm going to insert just like full hand swatch shots. Oh, these are hard to get out. Okay. So number one, so this one is called Call Me, and it's reading a little bit more red on camera, but it's kind of more of that eggplanty, like aubergine type of tone. Uh, it does have a little on the corner here. It says 10 year anniversary. So these are like specially marked because this is the 10 year anniversary calendar. Okay, number two. This one is called Purple Rose, and it looks like kind of a lavendery, maybe a slight hint of gray tone in it. So the first two that we've gotten are both creams, which I'm expecting there will be quite a lot of. Day number three. Oh, exciting. Ew, this one's so gross. This looks like my skin tone. <laughs> oh, it's a base coat. <laughs> I was like, ew, who would want that? This is a base coat and treatment, it says. So it must be like some kind of a smoothing base maybe or something like that. I guess you could wear this under sheer polishes to give it a little bit more oomph and like kind of distract from your visible nail line, like a blurring base. 
I'll have to try it. I've never used anything like that before. Day number four. Okay, we got not a cream, but not my favorite. This one is called Icing on the Cake. Well, that is kind of an appropriate name. Mine has some weird stuff on it. Looks very sheer, very shimmery. It's got, hmm, looks like a gold shimmer running through it. Oh, that's another thing about these stupid things is they're really hard to open the first time. Um, yeah, I would say that's probably better as a topper than on its own, for, just for my personal taste, but I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Orly's holiday collection last year. Let's do day number five. We got a red, another cream. This one is called Red Hot Chili. Definitely a really bright, like poppy red. Um, I have a quite a few of these types in my collection. Uh, so depending on how sheer this goes on, this may be like one of those that I just never ever wear. I mean, I already rarely wear red, so. Day number six. It's giving Essie's Chin Chili. This one's called Iced Frappe. Definitely a nice neutral, but like not super exciting. Although, I mean, I wax on poetic about Essie's Chin Chili constantly. Uh, so we'll have to see how the formula is on this to see if it really compares. Definitely, I think Chin Chili is definitely darker than this, but it's in that same color family. Day number seven. Does anybody write their sevens like this, like with that little line through it? I think my grandparents do, but I don't think that anybody in my age group really does that. Ooh, this one's fun. That's a fun pink. Is that a cream? It's called Neon Lovin', and it's much brighter in the hand than it is on camera. That's just the way neons are. And yeah, I think that's definitely a cream. I was wondering if there was like a super light shimmer running through it, but it does not look like it. So five creams, one non-cream, and one base coat so far. Day number eight. It's like a chocolatey brown. Yeah, this one's called Sweet Like Chocolate. Just a plain cream, chocolatey brown. It's pretty. Not like super pumped. Number nine. Boring. What is that? Is that base coat or top coat? It's hard to tell. This is top coat. It's a speed coat top coat. So maybe it's a quick dry top coat. Because, okay, so for the last two years, they've given me the same base and top coat for both years but this time these are both different than the other ones this looks really watery that is so thin it smells like opi hmm that's weird i'll have to try it i bet it's like bad <laughs> what are we on 10 oh there's something fun let's see this one is dancing queen got kind of a fun warm gold glitter all right, let's see how thin it is. Yeah, that looks, mm, I don't know. It looks a little bit like you could maybe build it up in a few coats, but it would also make for a good topper over some of these colors, so we'll have to see when I get to swatching them. 11. I don't like this color at all. I hate peach colors. Like, I just, they don't look good on me. This one's called Sunset Boulevard, and it's like, it definitely reminds me of like an orange sherbet I know it's pronounced sherbet, but I say sherbet. I don't know. It's like an orange sherbet-y color, uh, and it's just another cream. It's cute, but, like, not on me. Not that I've ever let that stop me, but... Number 12. Oops, I ripped the box. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I have a sweater this color that I wear to work. It's called New Romance. I like this kind of dustier, rosy-toned color. I think these do look really good on me, despite, like, all the pink in my skin. I really enjoy wearing this color, um, but that means that I have a lot of this color already. So, you know, it's a nice one, but not my jam. And at the end, I'm gonna show you like the color spread of all this because I feel like the Ciate London calendar is like the worst for color spreads when it comes to like diversity in just the tones that they use. Where were we, 13? Lucky 13, be something cool or I'll cry. Oh, okay. This one's called Popping Candy. Is that like British for Pop Rocks? I don't know. Um, it is just a really nice, like, kind of like baby pink or Barbie pink or... I don't know. Is there a difference between baby and Barbie pink? It's like a soft pink. And it is, in fact, another cream. I feel like Ciate doesn't do a ton of exciting stuff. Um, so maybe I shouldn't expect a ton of exciting stuff, but... 
number 14. Oh, I feel like we had a color very similar to this in a previous box. Um, this is called Red Red Wine, and it is a very dark red color. Not so dark that it's like going to look black on the nail. It looks like it has kind of a crelly type formula or like borderline jelly. These ones I, I like in this darker formula. I don't know why, but I like when this type of red is a more jelly tone. I, it just looks shinier and it brings out the red color more than that like deeper tone. So I feel like it helps it stand out. 15. Oh, another pink. Interesting. Let's see. This one's called Flamingo. Definitely a cute name. Um, and I like the color. I saw flamingos once. There was a bird park in my city in Japan. If I can find the video, I will sh like put it in here. But like, they make the weirdest noise. I was filming them and then they just started all honking at the same time. And it threw me off guard so bad. <laughs> Um, that's not really related to this polish other than they were flamingos. But yeah, just another cream, another pink cream. We've gotten, let's see, I think this is the third pink cream so far. Number 16, another nude tone. This one is called Late, oh no, Latte Love. So it's just a, like a plain nude, like a really light, fair nude, I would say. Probably look fine. It'd give me like kind of mannequin hands compared to, oh, that makes the peachy one look even peachier. Yeah, another another nude cream. Number 17. Oh, I like that blue. Oh, something I like. This one's called Pool Party, isn't it? Doesn't Orly have a jelly that came out this summer? Wasn't that the same name as that one? I, okay, I love the blue screen of death type blue, this blue here. I bought a purse uh, from Telfar that is this color. I love it, this painter's tape type of blue. So even though this is just kind of a like plain cream, this is a color that I absolutely love. And so, you know, I do have it, but I don't have as much of this as I do of like stuff like this. So I'm happy to check this one out. I think maybe I'm also excited by this one because it's like the first non like red or neutral color that we've gotten and it's on day 17 wow day 18 okay that one looks like it's got a interesting finish to it it's called got rhythm you'll probably be able to see better in the swatch picture i post it looks like it's got kind of a oil slick there's some kind of shimmer or something in there i'm hoping it translates onto the nail it's really subtle in the bottle, but it kind of makes it look a little bit velvety. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see when I swatch it. We got six more, so let's open 19. Oh, joy. It's a pink nude. Let's just double down. This one is called Dreamland, and it is like a pinky nude cream. Cool. Number 20. Okay. All right, there was one last year that was this color and it was like Cupcake Queen or something, I think. Oh, this is literally, oh, jeez. This is literally Cupcake Queen. Um, So they just repeated one. Okay, so this is like a a pink shimmer. Uh, Yeah, it's not the same as the neon. It is, that's annoying. I don't know, why does that annoy me so much? It has like a pink shimmer or a purpley shimmer running through it. It's a pretty color, but like, you repeated it. Like, wasn't this one in last year's? Hang on, now I gotta check. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, so I just checked my spreadsheet to see when I acquired this one before. And it is from last year's advent calendar. So you did the same one two years in a row. This I will not open. I will use my old one to provide you guys a swatch. And I will just put this in my giveaway pile of like polishes that I've gotten doubles of and stuff like that. Um, rude. So now we're on 21. Mm, I like that color. That's kind of my color, but what is this? This is pepperminty. It's kind of that like robin's egg, Tiffany blue. It is a cream. Um, I like the name though, pepperminty. That's kind of cute. 22. Oh, look, another red. Is it red or is it pink? This one's called pom pom. It kind of looks like a dustier version of the red hot chili. 
I do love a dusty color, but that is yet another cream for our little bunch here. Number 23, it's like a blue gray. It kind of reminds me of Tommy from Zoya. This one's called Sky High. And it, I guess it's probably supposed to be like a really pale blue. Just another, another cream. If, okay, so we're on the full size one, number 24. If the full size one is a full size cream, I, I don't know what I'll say. I don't know how I'm gonna feel. Oh no, I've messed up this door. There we go. Okay, oh, I just ripped the whole thing. Um, it's ugly. <laughs> This one's called Take the Stage. This is one of those very shimmery, probably not to be worn on its own, layered over something. So I'll layer it over like black in a swatch and maybe do like a couple other colors as well. It's got like a pinky shimmer running through it. It's giving Orly 2021 holiday vibes. So that is that. Okay, so let's just talk about the color distribution of this advent calendar really quick because I feel like out of every advent calendar I've ever done, the Ciate London one has just a really bad diversity of color. Um, so first off, we have these two that are not colors. They're just the base coat and the top coat. In an advent calendar this big, I don't mind having like the base and the top coat. I think that they're good additions and with 24 items, having only two of them be these like little like extra nail care type, I have no issue with, so those are fine. Next we have four reds. We have a pretty decent spread of reds, I guess. Uh, we have a really dark, we have dusty, we have bright and poppy. I guess these are both kind of dusty, but four reds in a Christmas advent calendar. I don't know, I kind of expect that. Next is pinks, and I feel like Siate loves pink for some reason, because we got six of them. This one probably doesn't read super pink to you guys. I, I don't know if I would classify this as pink. I feel like I do because it's a really pink toned nude, but if you guys wouldn't let me know, it's just, it's really pale. Um, We got six pinks though, and two of them are like special finishes, and the rest are just plain creams. Continuing in color order, we got a singular orange and it's very peachy. And then we have this pepperminty color, which could go kind of green or blue, depending on how you classify this tone. I tend to waffle constantly and change it in my spreadsheet like three times a year. So we're gonna call that green for the sake of this video. We received two blues, this kind of blue screen of death blue, and then this really light blue gray. As far as purples go, we got this like aubergine eggplant color. Again, it, it's reading more red on camera, but in person, I swear it looks purple. And I tried to adjust my settings on my camera so that this one would show true to color. But as soon as I do that, the rest of them don't look true to color. So I will make sure my swatch picture definitely looks more on point. Um, and then we have this kind of gray toned lilac. And then we got three kind of brownish nude tones. This one's more like a warm chocolatey brown. And then these are more like grayed out taupes or like a tan. Uh, but I kind of put all these like taupes and tans and browns are all the same category for me. So we got three browns. We got a gold, and I'm not sure at this point because I haven't swatched them yet if this is going to be like a topper shade or a full coverage. We'll have to see. Same with this one. I, I call shimmers like this. I put them in the white category because it's just like easier that way for me because they all look white in the bottle. Um, That's just a personal preference. And so we got one of those. This one leans way more pink in the bottle, so that's why I put it in the pink. And finally, we got a single black, and this one, it... I'm not sure if it's going to read as a cream on camera, but it's got some kind of shimmer running through it. So as you can see, we have a lot of reds and pinks. Then we're just really kind of like lacking in this kind of color area. And then like we got some purples and browns, but it's just, I don't know. I just wish that if they're not going to make this color category section a little bit more diverse, at least... Go a little bit crazier with the finishes because if we take out all the creams that leaves us with five out of the 24 polishes 
that are non-traditional finishes. So only about 20% of the calendar was anything kind of different. And I don't know, me personally, I would, I would prefer like at least 40%, like bump up the ratio a little bit. It doesn't even have to be a, an even split half and half or add more shimmers. Shimmers aren't that crazy. Shimmers aren't that hard to do. It's a very simple formula. I'm, I'm almost certain of it. I'm not a chemist, but I don't know. Just not very exciting. So yeah, what do you guys think? I am truly disappointed that this one was repeated. I don't know why they did that. I do really like this color. I like this bright pink too, especially with that blue. That seems kind of fun. And you know, on their own, I like some of these creams. I do like this hot pepper cream. Uh, like I said, I love this kind of color. Uh, this color too, and this one. It's just that for the holiday, I don't know, for me, maybe maybe it's different in England, maybe it's different in Europe as a whole, but for me, like, the holidays are kind of the obnoxious, fun, bright, like, beautiful color time, and these are just a lot more subdued than I'm used to for my kind of holiday, you know? I cannot buy this one again. <laughs> I cannot let myself fall for these Ciate tricks again. If I do, I just... I don't know. I shouldn't. Hillary, in the future, please don't. Just please use best judgment. Let me know if any of you guys ended up picking this up this year. Uh, I just feel like it's pretty expensive for a ton of minis, especially when, I don't know, I, I gotta say, the quality of Seate is always very hit and miss. Some of their formulas are on the very, very sheer side. I am interested to see what the heck is going on with this speed coat top coat because it literally looks like water in here. Um, and I, I'm interested to try this kind of, it looks like a nail blurring treatment, so we'll see. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts were on this advent calendar and uh, if you picked up this advent calendar, were you disappointed? Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!